Have you ever wondered what secrets the ancient pyramids of Egypt might still be hiding from us? These colossal structures, standing tall against the test of time, have been shrouded in mystery for centuries. The sheer size and precision of the pyramids continue to baffle experts and enthusiasts alike. How were they built? Who built them? And most importantly, why? Let's start with the construction. One popular theory suggests the use of ramps and sleds to move the massive stones. Imagine this for a moment. Workers laboring under the blazing Egyptian sun hauling blocks of stone each weighing an average of two and a half tons up a steep ramp. It's a theory that's practical, but it raises its own set of questions. How did they manage to create such complex structures with such rudimentary technology? And where are these ramps now? Next, we come to the labor force. Who were these people who toiled day in and day out to erect these magnificent edifices? Contrary to popular belief, they weren't slaves. Recent discoveries suggest that they were actually skilled laborers, working in shifts, who took great pride in their work. But how did they achieve such precision? The alignment of the pyramids with the cardinal points is so accurate that it deviates by less than one-tenth of a degree. Such precision, in an era devoid of modern surveying tools, is truly mind-boggling. Lastly, the why. The pyramids were not just grand tombs for the pharaohs, they were also a testament to their divine status. Every aspect of their construction, from the choice of location to the orientation and internal layout, was carefully chosen to mirror celestial patterns, further cementing the pharaoh's connection with the gods. As we delve deeper, we realize just how much we have yet to uncover about the pyramids. The mysteries of their construction, the labor force, and the precision all lead us to a labyrinth of unanswered questions. Unraveling these enigmas will not only shed light on the pyramids, but also on the fascinating civilization that built them. Beyond the pyramids, the Sphinx poses another intriguing mystery. This colossal stone statue with the body of a lion and the head of a human has been silently guarding the Giza Plateau for millennia. Yet its age remains a topic of hot debate among scholars. Traditionally, historians have attributed the creation of the Sphinx to the Pharaoh Khafre around 4,500 years ago. However, a theory emerged in the late 20th century that challenges this consensus. The water erosion hypothesis proposed by geologist Robert Schock suggests that the Sphinx may be thousands of years older than previously thought. According to Schock, the weathering patterns on the Sphinx's body are more consistent with water erosion than with wind and sand. This would indicate that the Sphinx was carved when the area was experiencing a wetter climate, possibly as far back as 10,500 years ago. This theory, while controversial, has sparked a lively debate among historians and geologists alike, reminding us that our understanding of history is always evolving. Another unsolved mystery of the Sphinx is the case of its missing nose. Theories abound as to what happened to it, ranging from being used for target practice by Napoleon's soldiers, to being destroyed by a Sufi Muslim in the 14th century due to its idolatrous nature. However, the truth of the matter is, nobody knows for sure. The nose's absence is a testament to the Sphinx's enduring enigma, a silent witness to countless historical events, yet revealing little of its own past. The Sphinx is an iconic symbol of ancient Egypt, its grandeur and mystery captivating the imagination of those who lay eyes upon it. Despite the numerous investigations and theories, the Sphinx remains largely a riddle. Unraveling its secrets could potentially rewrite the history of ancient Egypt and perhaps even of civilization itself. The Sphinx, an iconic symbol of ancient Egypt, continues to keep its secrets closely guarded. Now, let's delve into the chilling legend of the Pharaoh's curse. Our journey takes us into the heart of ancient Egypt's most haunting legend, the Curse of the Pharaohs. This supposed curse was believed to plague anyone who dared to disturb the eternal slumber of an Egyptian mummy, particularly those of royal lineage. This eerie tale has its roots deep within the cultural fabric of ancient Egypt, a civilization that held a profound belief in the afterlife and went to great lengths to secure it. The story of this curse is as old as the pyramids themselves, but it wasn't until the early 20th century that it truly captured the world's attention. The event that sparked this global fascination was none other than the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. This young pharaoh who reigned over Egypt over 3,000 years ago was virtually unknown until his nearly intact tomb was unearthed in the Valley of the Kings 
by archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922. The grandeur of the tomb's treasures was unparalleled, but it was the series of mysterious deaths that followed which truly grabbed headlines. Carter's financial backer, Lord Carnarvon, died under mysterious circumstances a few months after the tomb's opening. This was followed by a string of untimely deaths of several others who were present at the tomb's unveiling. Some pointed to natural causes, while others whispered of a deadly curse. In the years that followed, the legend of the Pharaoh's curse grew, fueled by a mix of superstitious fear and morbid fascination. Scientists and skeptics alike have attempted to dispel the curse as mere folklore, suggesting plausible explanations such as the presence of toxic mold or bacteria within the tombs. Yet, despite these rational explanations, the curse's allure persists. Whether it's superstition or fact, the Pharaoh's curse remains one of ancient Egypt's most chilling mysteries. As we peel back the layers of time, we are reminded of the respect and reverence the ancient Egyptians had for the afterlife, a belief so powerful it continues to echo through the centuries, wrapped in the enigmatic shroud of the Pharaoh's curse. From land to sea, ancient Egypt's mysteries are not confined to the desert. Our journey now takes us beneath the waves to the long-lost city of Heracleion, a story steeped in legend, now a reality. For centuries, Heracleion was thought to be nothing more than a myth, a city of extraordinary wealth mentioned in ancient texts, but with no physical trace to be found. The game changed in the late 20th century when a team of underwater archaeologists, led by Frank Godio, stumbled upon something extraordinary in the depths of the Mediterranean Sea, near the mouth of the Nile. Beneath the waves lay the remains of a grand city, a surreal tableau of statues, temples, and columns, all remarkably preserved by the sea. The city that was once a phantom of the past had finally surfaced from the depths of obscurity. Heracleion, also known as Thonis, was believed to have been established in the 8th century BC and was a hub of trade and a religious center. It held the Temple of Amun, where it is said that Helen of Troy and Hercules visited. However, over time the city succumbed to a combination of rising sea levels and soil liquefaction, sinking beneath the sea and fading from memory until its rediscovery. The artifacts recovered from the site paint a vibrant picture of life in ancient Egypt. Among the discoveries are giant statues of pharaohs, gold coins, inscribed steles, and the remains of more than 60 ships buried in the thick clay and sand that covers the seabed. These finds tell tales of a prosperous and bustling city, a city that played a key role in the Mediterranean world. The discovery of Heracleion is a stark reminder of the transient nature of human civilization. It also underscores the fact that our understanding of the past is constantly evolving, shaped by new discoveries that challenge our perceptions. The lost city of Heracleion is a testament to the fact that there is still so much about ancient Egypt waiting to be unearthed. So let's keep digging, diving, and exploring because history, as we know, is a never-ending journey of discovery. Lastly, we delve into the enduring mystery of Cleopatra's final resting place. This enigma has fascinated historians, archaeologists, and history enthusiasts for centuries, yet it remains one of the most elusive puzzles of ancient Egypt. Cleopatra VII, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, was a woman of exceptional intellect and charm. Her romantic involvement with two of the most powerful men of her time, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, has been immortalized in countless works of literature and art. But despite her fame, the location of her burial site remains a mystery. Historical accounts suggest that Cleopatra was buried alongside Mark Antony, who shared a tragic love story with the queen. They were laid to rest in a golden tomb, a place described as a lofty and beautiful monument filled with treasures made of gold, silver, emeralds, pearls, ebony, and ivory. However, despite these vivid descriptions, the tomb's exact location remains unknown. Several theories have been proposed over the years. Some believe the tomb is hidden somewhere in the heart of Egypt in a temple near Alexandria. Others propose that the tomb may be under the sea, swept away by a tsunami that struck the region centuries ago. Yet these theories are based on assumptions and interpretations of ancient texts with no concrete evidence to support them. In recent years, the search for Cleopatra's tomb has been reignited. 
Archaeologists are using cutting-edge technology to explore potential sites, sifting through layers of sand, stone, and history in the hope of finding clues. Yet despite these efforts, Cleopatra's final resting place remains shrouded in mystery. This enduring mystery serves as a reminder of the complexities and enigmas that shroud ancient Egypt. It's a testament to the rich and intricate history that lies beneath the sands, waiting to be discovered. The elusive search for Cleopatra's tomb continues to captivate us, a fitting testament to the enduring allure of ancient Egypt's darkest secrets.